Well, a harm reduction law passed yet last year to prevent the transmitting of bloodborne disease such as hepatitis, hepatitis C, and HIV is causing discussion among Roanoke City leaders. The program would allow official facilities to exchange dirty needles with clean ones. 10 News reporter Lesla Gooden joins us in the studio to tell us more. Lesla? Yes, today I spoke with a center that would like to facilitate the needle exchange program if approved by city leaders. The drop-in center in Roanoke has been on a mission to protect the health of people in our community struggling with addiction. One way it does this by distributing brown paper bags filled with tools like gauzes and sterile water packs. But it's looking to offer more. It says a needle exchange program could protect addicts from bloodborne diseases. It will also give it the opportunity to share its recovery services to users. People that we would be working with are already there and it's just kind of helping them bridge the gap and stay as safe as possible while they're dealing with what they're dealing with. According to the Virginia Department of Health, the increase of hepatitis has been linked to the opioid crisis. From 2008 to 2012, young adults in Roanoke have increased the use of intravenous drugs by more than 257 percent. Statewide, there was a 66 percent increase. It's not a very expensive way to avoid hep C and HIV. I mean, they're like 10 cents a piece. So um, in the long run, it ends up costing a whole lot less money, giving people what they need to keep themselves safe than it does to, you know, treat some of these things. To implement such a program, places like the drop-in center would need approval from law enforcement and city council. Council member Bill Bespich tells 10 News that the problem's more of a public health issue than criminal. I think for individuals who are uh, suffering from uh, addiction are not criminal. They have a medical problem that needs to be dealt with as a medical issue and uh, locking them up is not going to solve anything. Dwyer tells me he believes that being neighbors to law enforcement could hurt their chances of becoming a needle exchange program. Not everyone is a fan of the needle exchange program. Roanoke's police chief says that the program will make it easier for addicts to break the law. In studio, Lesla Good and 10 News working for you.